Alright, hello guys. I'm back with another video here. Showing you off of my Nerf arsenal. So, let's get started. First one. Gonna be this gun. Which, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I normally don't like to use it in my Nerf Wars, but... I mean, it's alright. That's how it shoots. Probably only gonna shoot one dart out of it. Uh, but yeah. Look at the smallest pistol I have. Move on to a double strike. It's already loaded. I like to use this in my Nerf Wars. It's a uh, zombie strike. I'm a fan of that series of Nerf guns. So let's see how it shoots. Oh. For a big range test, I'm just gonna do it right here. As you probably saw, I shot zombie strike bullets. So, yeah. My opinion on this gun is alright. I mean, it shoots pretty well. Shoots two darts. Nice little handle on here, nice grip. Ready to shoot at. Then you can grip at it. And if you probably have big pockets, you can put this in there and pull it out and cock it if you have. If you, you can do like this. Uh, you can do like this. Then shoot it. But yeah. I like the design of this. It's really cool. Alright, moving on. Ah. Okay. Sorry there, but... Uh... I have a Star Wars blaster that probably resembles the Stormtrooper blaster pistols or the Rebellion pistol, but either way, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't have the Star Wars red bullet to it, so I'm using Nerf Elite bullets. I'll show you. Y'all know what those look like. I look like this. Really interesting. The blue and then solid yellow or I mean orange tip. <coughs> Sorry there, but anyway, this is how it shoots. Uh -huh. Sometimes when I shoot my bullets, they, since it's not that very big of, of a large space range, it kind of ends up in my bathroom all over the place, but now I have to go collect those, but anyway, I'm going to save the best for last, the Vulcan, and yeah, it's pretty great, and then I'll show you my Nerf vest. Anyway, so moving on to a pretty annoying uh, gun, which I must say, it's, uh, hold on. Anyway, this gun right here is pretty annoying because you got a bolt, like a little, uh, whatever you call the way of cocking the gun, but it's kind of annoying because when you cock it, it gets stuck and then, oh yeah, 
But anyway, and the group is kind of weird too. Like, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen any of uh, Group 772's video, but he talked about how a group of uh, one of the guns was off, like, uh, how someone probably moved the design to it and accidentally moved it to somewhere else, like a computer bio, but I'm not sure if he can song it or not, but anyway, back to what uh, I guess, but it's time to shoot the gun. Well, sometimes I just think, slowly, quickly. <sighs> yeah, it can kind of get annoying. So anyway. Except for like the grip part of it. I mean, the grip feels comfortable, but I mean, there's that one bulge out that probably doesn't really need to be there. But probably the reason for that is that there's a stock that used to be there which I took off that holds extra bullets, which I really don't see why they need to add that. But I like this gun. I rarely even use this in my Nerf Wars because of its loading aspects. It's, yeah, just that. Anyway, moving on down the line to the more bigger weapons that shoot more than one or two shots. So like this. Is another is another uh, gun by Zombie Strike, and this is the gun that where they have orange instead of green. Uh, then probably or maybe they always have green, and this was just designed for it. But anyway, the grip looks really nice. Like all the other, like the pistol I showed you, Zombie Strike, and the design of it. The reason why I like Zombie Strike is because the storyline is pretty cool, and <clears throat> the materials, like, were like the stock, it looks like they used cloth texture to wrap around it, or like, uh, some stuff, like, for the sledge fire, uh, they used, like, a wrench handle part, I think. But I don't have that. So, I wish I did. Anyway. Time to shoot the five round gun. Okay. The trigger seems the trigger seems pretty smooth. It, like you don't have to press on really hard to uh, to shoot it. Like for example, I'm not even pressing hard enough to shoot that, and it still shoots. It's pretty amazing. I like that. Anyway, we have two more shots left. Hammer shot by Zombie Strike. Yeah. So time to move on to a very odd weapon. It, I used to have a long time ago. Which I, I used to have a while back. And a quick little side note, 
I'm not sure what your guys' first um, Nerf gun was, but my first Nerf gun was the Vulcan. A very powerful on my belt bag weapon. That was my first Nerf gun. Normally, your first Nerf gun would probably be like this. Or maybe like this. Something similar to go to, but or you might have had a different Nerf gun. Let me know what your first Nerf gun was in the comment section below. If I have the time, I will reply to them if I can. So anyway, moving on to the gun I uh this isn't necessarily made by Nerf, but it looks like a Nerf weapon. It's by Airbusters. Which I'm not sure if you guys heard of those, but apparently they make Nerf like weapons. But the shell casing, which I'll show you. It's kind of well, small for like a Nerf Blaster bullet. So, uh, hold on. So the only small Nerf Blaster bullet I could find was a uh, Resolve Strike. So, anyway, my review on the grip, I mean, the grip is pretty short, but, I mean, it feels alright. So, uh, I guess, now it's time for me to shoot this. I got to cock it. Fuck. Hey. Oh. Hank still is shot one of those. Yikes. Sorry guys for all the white screens. I placed it down whenever I try to reload these guns. So maybe I can maybe get a uh, makeshift tripod or something to hold my phone up. But anyway, let's shoot. And you did hear that make that little spring sound, which is probably normal. You know, for all the um, false shots, you're probably not gonna shoot the rest of this. Is the review on the shot? Of shooting the thing, or like non-nerf darts or bullets, uh, it's not very good. So I rarely ever use this in my nerf wars now because, well, before when I have little nerf guns here, I had to use that, but other than that. No, I don't because I have so much more Nerf gun. That's why I'm showing you this. So anyway, moving on to, uh, probably I got out of order here, but moving on to this. This, uh, gun right here. Uh, hold on. Maverick Rev 6. Maverick Revolver 6, I think? That's probably the name of this weapon. Review on the grip and design. I like it, considering that it's a 
normal Nerf gun and the normal Nerf colors are like yellow and it's a in strike. Um, it's an in strike enlist and for something else. But that's probably just what it says for their logo, but it's an in strike. That's all I need to know. But this gun is actually pretty well shot. So, yeah, let's shoot it. This doesn't seem like it has a false shot by accident. I hope this makes up for the loss of videos I have made over the past few days. I haven't really feeling making any gaming videos, but trust me. If I'm going to make a video on Sonica, it's going to be really good. Now, of course, for this series, I have done a little cheat to the game because... I wanted to get very far in the game, so, but all I didn't do was, uh, build the rest of the Neptune rocket, which I only built the base plate for it, so, and, uh, like, the launching platform, that's all I did, and I built a really crazy long base with a uh, long red cyclops. That I use as an explorer, and I have a CMOC called the USS Samhika and Ponce. That's a pretty cool stuff, too. So, and I have a scam. Anyway, more on that when I make a video of that later on. But, on to the next weapon of Nerf. This, I really like. It has a nice grip. Pretty long group, but it's alright, and the design to it, if you haven't, if you know what the navy colors are, like, uh, dark blue, and then, like, okay, so, this gun kind of looks like the navy texture, solid blue, and little squares of light blue, if you've ever seen that, so, let's, Shoot this. Right now it's on Elite. So right now I'm gonna open up this door. The door to shooting. That's kind of what I like to do. Anyway, so let's go. One more shot of the leak. I don't know why I'm even shooting these bullets. Even though we're not doing range testing, but if you guys if you have quick eyesight you could probably see a back but shoot or anything like that. But sometimes when you shoot the gun, you you kind of hear the noise of it shooting ringing in the background a little bit. Like, just listen real closely. Yeah. Sounds like the screen still, after it hits, it hits hard enough that it keeps on ringing for a few seconds. Which I think is kind of interesting because I never seen that in any other types of weapons nerf so this is our last bullet right here yeah 
Sorry, I accidentally cocked it, but anyway, that's the dual strike nerf gun. On to the next weapon. And trust me, guys, we will get to this eventually. It's mega thing. Powerful weapon. Ah. First, I'll tell you how I got that, too. And, moving on. <laughs> moving on to my, one of my favorite weapons. The, the Replayer, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Right now it has an 8 round magazine from an air hog that I got. Oh, and it, if you guys don't know, the air hog magazines will fit uh, elite guns by buckling on it. So it kind of looks like a little sniper rifle. If you got a little short clip in it. But anyway, it will require two hands to shoot this if you want to see me shoot it fast. So, I'm not sure what I should do. Oh, I got a little VR headset, which is very nice, unique. I'm trying to do it like that. to shoot it while you guys see me cocking it and shooting it really fast, but you can uh, see me shoot it. But you can hear uh, the pump cocking, uh, and then you'll know it, how fast the problem might be. So anyway. Alright guys, so that is it for this gun, but I forgot something. I need to tell you how the, the grip is. So the grip, it's actually really great. It's solid, it's, it looks like little bumps right here where you can lay your three fingers. And your trigger finger can go in here and shoot, take your left hand. Or your right hand, whichever one I go by is. And this might be true. <coughs> this might be true. Whichever hand you write with, it's the hand you probably shoot with. And that probably is true or not. You can tell me in the comment section below. But, uh, since so, so I'm a righty, I, I put my three fingers here in the no, and bump, bump the areas that go down, put my trigger finger here, and then cock it using my left hand right here, pull it, to pull it back and then pull it forward. It's fairly simple. So, uh, yeah. And I'm actually a fast shooter with this gun, and yes, I do bring this to Nerf Wars. A lot when I nerf with my friend 1v1. So, this is actually a pretty common weapon that I use 
This is my primary weapon that I normally use. With magazines in it. I normally take this one as a spare. And then use uh, that one as a main magazine. And I switch out to this one when I'm out. So, and uh, anyway, that's it for this gun. We're almost done, guys. This right here, I don't exactly know the name to, but uh, it's a part of a weapon. Uh, this I found at a thrift store. Uh, not gonna tell you which one, but I found it at a thrift store, but it's kind of broken, as you can kind of see. But the only area where you can put your bullet. That works is the bottom area, which looks pretty cool. So, and the grip actually is really small and great. <laughs> and it has the same little bumps that go down too, which is pretty cool. So anyway, that's uh, not really much. Probably common for those types of guns. But, yes, I did... I already caught this. So, anyway, make sure the gun's actually really big if you have the second half. But I couldn't really find the second half. So I just stuck with this. And as you can see, you have like a little dart here, a little pump here that you can pull back and shoot. So, let's shoot it. It's a one shot gun. Pretty okay, but, I mean, if you're a good sharpshooter, you probably go by the same. I'm not sure if you do or not, but if you're a pretty cool sharpshooter, uh, you can probably use the same one shot, one, one shot, one kill. <laughs> sort of, but, is, you know what I mean, you have one shot, and you're pretty good at sharpshooting, but anyway. And, uh, you're pretty good with that one shot lonely in that gun. So, one shot will kill. That's only if you're a pretty good sharpshooter. You can knock a nerfer out with, if you were playing with one life per guy. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's shoot the shotgun. It's. Uh, we have a dark tag nerf. It's a pump action shotgun. I'm actually really interested in this. And it, look, no, I can't really show you. Can show you with one hand. You can, like, do this thing in no choice. Like, but this has to be already pumped and already caught, but you can, like, do that. Anyway, I'm going to shoot this, and this, I think, I'm not sure, but it seems like a close range attack, like a close range shot, because, well, it's obvious, because shotguns are not long range in the real world, so this is where they were going for it, then. And then the shotgun will be, uh, and then the dark tag will be, uh, short range attack. Instead of long range. But, and, uh, I'm not really sure. All you pro nerfers out there, please don't hate me if it's uh, wrong and all range, all ranges are the same for all nerf guns. But, anyway, yeah. So, this has some pretty, some pretty long shots in this. And I have uh, another shotgun, but 
it's the same thing I found this at Kid at Kid to Kid. Uh, I found two shotguns of different color and the exact. But the grip seems very nice on this uh, dark tag. And look, right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little engraving of a of, uh, little dark, a little target sight along right here. It's pretty cool. So here's the pump right here. You just pull that back all the way down here. And you just fire it. Boom. But there is no bullet in it yet. But we're coming close to the end of our nerf arsenal, but like two or four nerf guns left. I just wanted to say uh, thanks for sticking around. It's probably going to be a long video. Uh, combined it together. I don't have uh, enough storage to uh, make one long video. So I'm going to have to use an uh, app to combine all these videos together. So, like I was telling you at the beginning of the video, this might, this is like a little revolver. Uh, Maverick 6. Alright guys, anyway, so this is the Maverick Revolver 6 shots, I think, uh, what, why it says like the number after the title means like how many rounds there are, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, let me check. Yeah, yeah there's six round to this gun. So like I said, this may or may not like I said, uh when your first nerf gun is like it may be this gun, like is and it kinda looks not that expensive, you know? And like a little starter nerf gun. Or you might have had like the jolt pistol. But anyway uh I, this is the exact same one as the other one, but I'm still just going to shoot the same way, I, I don't know why, but anyway, uh, they both shoot the same, like the same little grip thing right here, it has like little cool texture, it's like bumps hang uh, out, like bumps push out of the uh, design, and like little screw uh design too. So it looks pretty cool. And I'm not sure what that little yellow piece there is, but I'm gonna shoot this gun. Oh hit right upside. I have slammed my door. Anyway, alright, Okay, so that's it for the Maverick Revolver 6. That what I'm just gonna call it is I, I don't know what uh, the currently pronounced my name, but uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it for that Nerf gun. Now this is uh the Alpha Hawk Adventure Force. This is the Alpha Hawk Nerf 
gun like that. It's not necessarily Nerf because it's uh, my adventure force, but it has a nice little cool scope. And it's bolt action, the first weapon I got that's bolt action. And there's like a little secret compartment here. And the grip, kind of short, but I mean it's alright. And it has this weird looking trigger thing that goes around it. Like a half trapezoid or something. Uh, or a half hexagon. But anyway. This gun has only one shot, but I'm going to show you uh, how you actually cock it. So it's really simple. If you know how like a real full action gun works, you flip this up, and then you... Uh, you flip that up, and then you pull that back, and then you slide your bullet in there, right there, and then you slam it closed, and that, and there. So that's basically it, but, uh, so for like the scope, I'm going to put the camera right in front of the scope and shoot it. Doesn't necessarily aim at the scope where it aims, probably just like a little cool design. Well, you can see on the scope we have the crosshairs. And, uh, yeah, there's like a, I really like the cool design because if you feel right here, like on the side of it, it feels like a nice little texture to it. So it's blue and green, but it's really nice. Anyway, that's it for the Alpha Hawk Sniper Rifle. Now, on to the second to last Nerf gun. Well, this is also a, a Adventure Force gun, too. So, oh, before I wrap this up, I have nice little gear right here, which I am going to put on, so don't worry about that. So, all right. You can see the gun actually shoot pretty well and loud. Plus it hurts too. So, so this actually has a nice little grip to it, and you and this gun is actually called the Scorpion and. You So you can see like a little, nice little Z right there, carved out into a trigger. That's actually a really nice design. And you put that on for that, and look, that actually, the barrel actually turns like a nice little Gatling gun. So that is it for this. So that is it for the scorpion, plus uh, what's cool about the chain is the belt, that while you're firing you can also reload at the same time, and just have an infinite, uh, infinite rounds as long as you have tons and tons and tons of bullets. So, now on to... The last but not least, Vulcan 25 round belt bed on magnetic and strike gun. Very nice, very powerful, and very big. It has a nice little tripod down there, and 
So I also got this at thrift store too. The original one unfortunately got sold, but that's all right. But the Vulcan was the first ever Nerf gun I actually had. Yeah, it was very crazy. And this one actually has a sling. You may be thinking, is the sling made by Nerf? Yes, it is. Not sure you can see it, but... See? It says Nerf right there. So, yes, it is made by Nerf, to answer your question. Now, you're probably wondering how bad can this baby fire? Well, we're about to see. You've probably seen, or you probably already have it, but... Uh, collector's edition, by the way. This is the collector's one. Now, Instrike made, uh, Elite. A Nerf Elite version, which has a different coat of color. Which is white. Which is very, very nice. So, you turn on the power switch. Right here. Just put, put that down. The tripod stabilizes your accuracy of aim and destruction, as I like to call it. <laughs> this is pretty powerful. So, let's get shooting. This actually has a little handle here. Shoot 25 rounds. The rest of the 25 rounds are in there. So, both my brows are in there, but it's belt. You'll see the belts when they come out. But I actually don't use this. You don't really need to cock it. I don't really see why this is here, but, uh, yeah. This gun actually shoots pretty fast. Ready? And wow. So yeah, so yeah, this gun shoots fast and loud, and when I, I got this at the thrift store in different parts, so like the barrel, like the gun itself was burst, and then, which was alright actually, because you don't necessarily need this or this, you don't need that or that to fire the gun. All you need is the gun itself, batteries, and this belt. I will lay out for you guys to see. 25 round belt, and it's a dummy cartridge right here, telling you which way it goes in. look really good, like a Nerf heavy guy, just throw this around your neck like you're just totally insane with this gun. Just throw this belt around your neck, shoot the rest of the belts out of that, and then just throw that in and have your teammates load up the remaining belt. Yeah, pretty crazy. So, uh... Yes, and then I got this along the way at the thrift store, and then the tripod was the only thing that I did not get was the belt. So my dad ordered the belt, and it came a few days right before my birthday party. So uh, it was based around a game truck and Nerf Wars, and of course I did you this bad boy in it. Uh, because, what? Can't bring, I mean, bring all your best guns to a Nerf War. Like a Vulcan. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all there is. And but the only thing I was broken about it was there was like a little switch right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right there. But when this pushes, it pushes that up. That locks in with this, and that was the only thing that was broken. Now, of course, at thrift stores, uh, 
they sell things that are normally not used anymore or broken. So I kind of had to look forward to this either being broken or just plain not used. Or a piece that didn't come with it. Which of course the belt probably the kid kept maybe or sold to another place. But anyway, that is it for the Vulcan. So, that's it for Vulcan, and I will be right back after I put that on. So, see you in a little bit. Okay guys, this is my Nerf gear. If you're out of ammo, you can just take this magazine out. And also, I put <coughs> some Nerf Elite bullets right here, and I uh, decided to show off both of my darts. As long as you like Elite darts, right here is uh, Zombie Strike, and right here is Nerf Elite. And uh, this is a 12 round stick magazine, and uh, here's a vest. Right here, which is very nice, and uh, here's some gold too. Really nice. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it. Comment, subscribe. Like, share it. Goodbye.